Is this the first time you've ever seen the mural? No, I'm actually, uh, I live here, so I come through and check it out every now and then. I'm taking pictures. I read about it on, on, online, looked it up. What do you think it means? Uh, I can only tell you what I was, what I read. Um, basically, it seems like uh, there's a soldier cutting through the dove of peace, and uh, his sword is an Arabian sword. Um, I'm not sure about the women and the angel type things. Um, and the, uh, the, the towers here, very familiar to a lot of people, kind of look like uh, 911 towers, whatever. So, I, can see that. I don't know, strange thing to have in this airport. What are your thoughts when you see something like this? Um, I think it's very well done, it's impactful. Um, color scheme's great, theme seems a little austere for an airport, but. You don't think there's a nefarious hidden agenda, a hidden meaning behind it or anything like that? Yeah, I don't know, I've heard that theory a lot. Maybe, you know, the underground prisons under Denver or DIA, all that stuff. Could be. I'm a little skeptical. So this is the first time you've ever seen this mural? Yeah, the first time I've ever seen it. Let's take a look. I mean, what are your thoughts when you look at something like that? Do you think it's kind of an odd uh, mural to be put in an airport? Or? Not necessarily. I think it explains a lot. Okay, such as? Such as just, you know, I mean, America and everything else. Um, there's a lot going on in the world right now, and it pretty pretty much shows what's going on. You know, there's a knight. He's taking care of things. There's people that are suffering, and he looks like he's taking over and taking care of it. So he's, he's like a protector, you think? Kind I think, I think he's a protector, it? you know. I mean, you're wearing a gas mask, and you have a sword in your hand. What else are you doing? <laughs> Is this the first time you've ever seen the mural? Yes, it is. Uh, I've seen it on the internet before. So, so all right, so you've seen it on the internet, and I saw you turn the corner. You're like, oh my God, here it is. So, all right. So, uh, what are your thoughts on it? You know, I've heard about I've it. heard some theories where there's like an underground facility in this in this airport. It's just like really dark and kind of scary looking. It is like a little creepy faceless, looking. Yeah, yeah. Machine gun wielding and the crying innocence in the background. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of creepy. Like fleeing. That's, that's yeah. Real creepy. Oh, it's just, I mean, this is kind of sad, obviously. Some, a kid who died in Auschwitz, 14 years old. Yeah. That, you know, basically their childhood was taken away from them through everything they went through, it looks like. You know, they hate, they hate enemies. They, they hope that one day they'll be able to wake up and laugh again. It's sad that there's people out there that think like that. Some people say it's put here to kind of get distract people from really what really goes on in DIA. Don't you think it's an odd place to put a mural like this in, a, in an international airport? I mean, it's kind of weird, isn't it? It is. Like, uh, I mean, if you, wanted to put a, if you wanted to send a message to someone, I mean, it's kind of the best place. Since so you think this is more of an artistic endeavor, you know, with the symbolism and everything? You know, this guy kind of looks like a Nazi, but um, is there any hidden meanings, a dark hidden meaning, or is this more kind of an artistic piece, you know? I think, I don't, I'm not someone who looks at things in a dark, hidden type of th way, so to me, I don't look at it like that. You know, the most disturbing piece of this whole thing is just that. That's what gets me the most. What about the rumors that there's a whole underground type of bunker here? Have you heard those as well? Do you think uh, there's any truth to that? Definitely possible. More possible than what they give you on the news. It looks funny the way that you can see uh, when you're coming in. You can see that there's construction's been over for years here, but there's construction everywhere, all over, going on on the grounds of the airport. Constantly, and you can see them actually working up because once it's a hill and you have a road that goes around it, and you come back a year later and there's two roads because the hills kind of moved up, as if the hills are expanding upwards. You think it's an odd place to have a mural like this in an international airport? Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know what its place is here or why it's here. Um, it's definitely not something you expect to see walking through an airport though. I hear you. So.